Good morning, Saugus. I'm Sarah Gonzalez, and today is Friday, November 17th. And I'm Sharon Uxell, and this is s &M. Today is also National Take a Hike Day. Why are geologists good at stand-up comedy? They know really dirty jokes. Please stand for the flag salute. Please stand. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Today is the fifth day of Spirit Week. Today is class colors, leading up to Sadie's tomorrow from 7 to 11 p.m. Tickets are available in the ASB office for $20 with an ASB card, $25 without, and $30 at the door. The dance is included in the dance pack. Here's more on the dance tomorrow. Good morning, Saugus. This is Nicole Delano reporting for SNN. The Sadie Hawkins dance is coming up on November 18th. Believe it or not, the entire tradition of a girl ask boy dance originates from a comic strip. So, just who was this Sadie Hawkins girl? Sadie Hawkins was the daughter of one of Dogpatch's earliest settlers, Mr. Hawkins. When she was 35 and still single, her father was worried about her living alone for the rest of her life. So to save her from this horrible fate, he called together all the bachelors of Dogpatch and made it Sadie Hawkins Day. All eligible bachelors were invited to race, and John Johnston became Sadie's prize and date. The town spinsters decided that this was a good idea, making Sadie Hawkins Day a yearly event. If a woman got a bachelor and dragged him to the finish line before sunset, by law he had to marry her. The dance didn't appear in the comic until later. The Sadie Hawkins dance took place on the evening before the race. This is a chance to switch up the typical gender roles and let the girls ask the guys. The dance is semi-formal, so girls wear a dress or nice outfit, and guys wear nice pants and a collared shirt. And remember, a rose for your date. Prices will increase leading up to the dance. Make memories and get your tickets now for $20 with ASB card and $25 without for this dance on Saturday. So go get them, girls. Good luck to asking out that special someone. Girls, now is your chance. You can buy your tickets now, and for a creative ways to ask this special guy, they are selling posters in the ASB office for $5 at brunch and lunch. This has been Nicole Ardolino reporting for SNN. If you are interested in the Chinese exchange program in the spring, you can drop off completed applications to Mr. Reese in M1303 or Mrs. Fulkerson in M1307. On Monday, December 4th, Common Sense Mentors will be holding their annual Cocoa and Cram Final Study event. This is a free session for freshmen to help prepare for finals. Check-in begins at 5.45 p.m. in the Q building and pickup time is 8.30 p.m. Make sure to bring your regular materials and, any, and any books and study guides. Sessions will be offered for English, Math, Spanish, and Science. And now for your scholarship news. Sierra Pacific Fly Fishers is looking for qualified applicants for the 2018 William L. Harry Don L. Lee Scholarships. They will be awarding four scholarships to applicants interested in environmental marine fisheries or outdoor related areas. The, deadline applica the application deadline is April 15th. The founders of the Student Awards Search Aid website are offering a $1,000 scholarship to students who browse their site. The deadline to apply is May 22nd. Students who demonstrate academic achievement, leadership, and community service and have also overcome obstacles may be eligible for the Milken Family Foundation Scholarship. Seniors must have at least a 3.6 unweighted GPA and a minimum SAT score of 1250 
or ACT score of 28. Demonstrate financial need and are U.S. citizens. Seniors interested in the University of Virginia may be eligible for the Jefferson Scholarship. This scholarship provides full tuition, fees, and a living stipend for four years of undergraduate studies at UVA, plus a number of generous enrichment benefits, including a study abroad experience. The deadline to apply is November 27th. The Science Ambassador Scholarship is a full tuition scholarship for women in science, technology, engineering, or math. For more information and applications for all of these scholarships, you can visit the scholarship tab on the Saugus website. Now let's go to Roman Rivera with your sports news. Good morning, Saugus. I'm Roman Rivera with your sports news. Varsity football competes in the next CIF playoff game tonight against St. Paul at St. Paul at 7 p.m. Tomorrow, cross country competes in CIF finals. Good luck to all Centurion athletes. Baseball is having a food drive tomorrow from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. near the baseball field. They are looking for donations to help out the Santa Clarita Food Pantry. The boys tennis team is looking for students who are athletic and have a desire to learn tennis. If you are interested, go to the tennis courts next Monday and Tuesday for trials. Remember to bring your racket, gym clothes, and plenty of water. See, see Coach Jeffress in J1003 if you have any questions. The dive team is looking for interested athletes. Practices will only require a few days per week. If you have any diving or gymnastics experience, see Ch Coach Clipfell in P1605. Track and field trials will be held on November 27th through 29th during 7th period and after school. If you have any questions, see Coach Russell in Q1706 or Coach Burns in M1305. We'll be right back after this. You can buy your yearbook at the website listed below. All juniors and seniors are eligible to participate in the College Now Special Admissions Program, which allows students to take COC courses this spring and have the full tui the tuition waived. See the career coach, Mrs. Loeza, in the counseling office this week for College Now. To learn more about the program, which courses you can take, what COC courses will be offered at Saugus in the spring, and how to apply. The class of 2018 grad night will be held at Disneyland and California Adventure on May 22nd from 1 p.m. to 3.30 a.m. Tickets are $180 with an ASB card and $190 without. The price includes transportation and grad night festivities. To purchase a ticket, you must fill out a permission slip from the front office. Seniors, diploma forms should be handed out to you in your government or econ class. If you do not have a Gov or Econ class, extra forms are available in the Registrar's Office. Diploma forms are due back to the Registrar by December 1st. There will be two guest speakers from Military Academies coming to speak at Saugus on Tuesday, November 21st at lunch in S Lecture Hall. The United States Military Academy at West Point and the United States Naval Academy at Anna Annapolis will take We'll talk about academies, athletics, and admissions to military academies. You can sign up in the counseling office if you are interested in attending. Theater is proud to present this year's fall comedy, Noises Off. Tonight and tomorrow night at 7 p.m. in the NPR. Tickets are $8 for students and $10 for adults. Science National Honor Society is hosting a toy drive for the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. You can donate new unwrapped toys to the front office or in X2411. 
However, they will not be accepting stuffed animals. ASV will, be ha will have a pie throwing brunch time activity today. You can throw pies at Mr. Miller, Mr. Bratt, Mr. Clipfo, Mr. Williams, and Mrs. Wilkins for a dollar per pie. All proceeds will go towards hurricane relief. That's all for today. I'm Sharon Uxell. Stay tuned for SNN Radio and Zogus Today. And I'm Sarah Gonzalez. Have a great day and see you tomorrow.